Hey everyone, today Star Stable has brought out some new running cat pets, along with a couple of other small updates, so let's get into the video. So right here in Fort Pinta, we have the Shop Pet Shop Girls, and that is where you can find three of the new running cat pets, so we're going to go inside and take a look. And here's two of them that you can see sitting here, and there's a black and white one with green eyes, a white one with blue eyes, and then there's also an orange one with green eyes. So there's not really any way to look at them when you're in the shop. So you can just sort of read about them. This one is the Wily Spotted Cat. This one is the Brave r Red Tabby Cat. And this one is the White Eurvegian House Cat. And they all cost 350 Starklings, which is a little bit cheaper than the dogs. So I think I will be getting the white one with the blue eyes and then the black one with the green eyes. Alrighty, so we're now back outside and we're going to take a look at the cats that sit in pet saddlebags. So this one is the white one and she has blue eyes and she's honestly my favorite. She's really cute and I think that since she's just pure white she'll go with any outfit pretty much. And I love the blue eyes on her. I love blue eyed animals. <coughs> so yeah, in my opinion she is definitely worth the buy. If you look she has like the cutest little animations once you sitting there and then there's this black and white one and this one is like my second favorite I also really like this one now the markings are mirrored if you look at it like when it's on the ground the markings are mirrored but it's hardly you know you can hardly tell so that's why he's my second favorite but other than that I really do like this one so we're going to go and take a look at their running animations now. Alrighty, so that was pretty much it for the running animations. They're not my favorite, but hopefully Star Stable will update them in the future. It just looks like the cat is sort of, like, inching along the ground, or like an inchworm. I don't know, it looks sort of funny to me, but... I think it's still overall very cute, and I do really like the new cats. The only thing that I would really change, like really strongly change, is their sounds. They have the most annoying meowing in my opinion. It's just all constant meowing, and that's what I think Star Stable went wrong with with the birds, was they had a really annoying sound, and people just didn't like to use them, I think. So hopefully in the future they will make it where the cats don't meow quite as often. But other than that, that's pretty great. So the next part of the update is there is a cat that is running around or something and we're going to have to go find it. So I will find it and be right back. Okay, so what I actually had to do to find this cat was I had to log out and back into the game quick because I did see him or her when I logged in today. So I'm thinking that every time you log in, this cat will run up to you until you've done the quest. So we're just going to click on him and see what this is about. Okay, so that was pretty much it for the quest, and pretty much all you have to do is you have to click on the kitty and pet her, and then you have to bring her back to Fort Pinta, and then the quest will pretty much just tell you that there's the cats here to adopt. So yeah, it was a pretty cute little quest, and it did give a tiny bit of XP, so that was sort of nice. Um, on to the rest of the update. Alright, so the next part of the update is at Star Stable actually announced that they released their field of view option in the settings so we're just going to click on this phone and under settings you can find the field of view right here in game and star stable said that the field of view is um what do they say like important for like motion sickness in games so possibly if you get motion sickness when you're playing games 
then you can do this or something. But it also is very handy on Star Stable to where if you make it all the way closer to your horse and then become a wild horse, you can actually see in first person, which is what people sort of wanted for a while. So that is pretty cool, and I do like this. This update, I think, has been around for two weeks, I believe. So yeah, and then to change it back, you can probably either log out or just get the bars all kind of straight with each other right here. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So that was pretty much it for today's update. Just a reminder, Star Stable said that their birthday will only be around for one more week, the celebrations. So to do the birthday races, you have to do them before next Wednesday. And then also Gary's Jorvik Wild Horses will be leaving next Wednesday, along with the birthday celebrations. So I'm guessing this is probably your last chance to get these Jorvik Wilds, but they may come back in the future, but not for a long time, I'm thinking. So if you'd like to get one, make sure to get it before next Wednesday. So Star Stable also um, like tease that they will be bringing out Bashker curly horses next week. I'm pretty sure that's the only type of curly horses out there. But I'm not positive, so it could be some other kind of curly horse, but I'm pretty sure that's what's coming. But they said that they will be coming next week, so that is pretty exciting. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more in the future. Have an awesome day, everyone. Bye.